So on January 19th, I tweeted, I can't explain to you how annoying the both sides slash balance defense is to me these days. So consider this a contradiction to that statement, because here I am about to explain to you, dear reader, why the both sides argument is, for lack of a better, more satisfactory word, uh, messed up. First things first, I am not talking about the argument that says opposing sides may have separate heterogeneous problems that may bear scrutiny. What I'm talking about is a response to the argument that group A does X with well, surely group B does the same thing. Explanation one. The pursuit of balance can create imbalance because sometimes something is true. This is known by some as Okrent's Law, a line taken from a 2004 New Yorker interview with then New York Times editor Daniel Okrent. Of course, this law assumes that if something A is true, then something B must be false, a zero-sum game that I will question in explanation four. But for now, the point seems clear. By claiming balance, by comparing two incommensurate things, one actually creates imbalance. Or rather, whereas imbalance signifies not balance, maybe the pursuit of balance instead creates something like disbalance, an enforced commensurability that functions by dissembling the things compared until they become both less and more than the sum of their parts. Explanation two. The claim to moderation, the both sides argument, the claim from disbalance, often betrays the speaker's own interest in appearing to be disinterested. It's like it says, I'm the balanced one, you're the one being extreme, or I'm trying to be impartial here, you're the one that's biased. The both sides argument is then ultimately self-referential. Explanation three. If the both sides argument is self-referential or self-inclusionary, it's because the speaker feels the need to justify themselves. Both sides' argument is predominantly used when one's own sympathies are under scrutiny. This, more than anything, betrays the horses we have in the game. As a defense, the both sides' argument is a deflection both from the question at hand and from having to deal with your own interest. Explanation four. The both sides' argument can only ever be about the number two. It reinforces dichotomous thinking when there may be and often are multiple axes at play in a given question. The pursuit of balance is messed up because balance can only countenance two sides. Balance equates, disbalance equates falsely. There is an epistemology of balance. To know a thing is to know both sides of that thing. As it has for hundreds of years, this binary way of knowing excludes other knowledges, and in so doing, perpetuates real imbalances, imbalances that this way of knowing itself helped to create. Here's a video where I talk about how the news, which often makes false equivalences, can never be as objective as it aspires to be, and what to do about that as a reader. And here's another video while you're at it that talks about how power employs technologies of myth and sign to resolve contradictions for its own ends. Thanks for watching, and be sure and subscribe.